Nisa, Nisa, oh, hello there, EFP57 here, and today I'm going to be teaching everyone here a topic that you probably saw me do in a couple of videos, but I just want to show you how to do it. So it involves the climbing these corners upwards like this. Well, first I'm going to start with just jumping. So everyone knows how to jump and do a backflip, right? To do a backflip, you hold crouch, and then jump. So, what I'm going to do is follow that by a dive, pressing the dive button, or E on a computer. So, here's what I'm going to show you. So, if you do that, and then dive, you get really close. Now, to do the trick. You see, when you go up to a corner, or when you go up to the wall, let's start with that. When you're walking up a wall, you can actually get a slight boost from wall running. Well, it turns out, if you're wall running, and at all you go off the corner, your momentum is conserved, but into the air. Like, you can see the tiny boost I get there, right? Anyways, so, what we can do is we can use a spin to kind of go kind of clockwise in a circle, or counterclockwise if you're at the other thing, like right here. Basically you want to do a circle, kind of like a semicircle, towards the corner again. So the tighter the circle, the more risky it is, but it's also faster. The problem is if you do it too fast, you'll actually touch it from the side, which can cause sliding down the wall. Like this. Actually, hang on. So, it's kind of like, if you touch it at the wrong, yeah, you'll slide down. So first, let's go over the basics. So I already told you about how it works. So once you do the little circles around, like this, you can eventually gain height by doing it repetitively. And that's how you get up here. So a good practice area would be this part of the tutorial. And if that ever gets taken away, then I'd suggest finding a short walk. Don't try this one. Perhaps the tutorial? I can't really show you much places, but... You could try this area. So at this corner right here, it is a 90 degree angle, which is perfect for using this trick. Now, something I need to tell you is that, well, you see those angles right there? That is a 135 degree angle, which means that it kind of goes off in a slant and it doesn't go like straight back, kind of like this wall. So basically, what you have to do if you want to try that, is you would have to do something that's at least parallel with the wall, which can be a bit problematic. Because if you don't get it right, then you could get stuck at the corner like that, or you could actually wall run into the wall, like you saw earlier. So mainly try to find something that's like a 90 degree angle. And that's why this area back here is perfect for it. So if you think you got it down, you could try doing it from here. Or, if you want, you could try going up here, and then you could try it from here. So once you think you've got it down, this is a perfect place to start. It's kind of intermediate. And if you really want to practice, then try checking over here at the tutorial. So in the tutorial, you have very large walls. This is about the same height, and you can just try it from here. And if you think you want even more of a challenge, then without wall jumping, try to scale this wall from here. This is a bit taller than the actual observatory, so it can make for a decent challenge. And then once you've got that down, 
The perfect place to check is Final Home Run, like in my other videos. Now, obviously, I have four ice creams, and walk through walls makes it harder, so I'm not going to show that. And I'm not going to get more ice creams because, well, this is part of a another thing I'm doing—a blindfolded run. But yeah, once you think you've mastered that, then one final place to do, other than final home run, is up here. You see, right here is another 90 degree angle. And you can actually use this to climb up. And once you get all the way to the top, then without a jetpack, you have already reached this upper ledge. Which means that you can actually access the test portal that's over there. Without using a jetpack or using any fancy shenanigans other than the wall climbing trick. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that you've learned well how to do this trick. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.